Today we'll talk about customer journey reports. Uh, what is a customer journey report? It is uh, basically an analysis of all the selected touch points in your customer experience and that is displayed in one report. This report is also real time, so all the data that is displayed is real time. Welcome to the Elixir channel, your resource for all things HubSpot. And now I am back on the report creation screen. And now I will select the customer journey reports option. And there you have the choice between contacts. So you can measure how your content generates new contacts, or you can also select deals on, uh, you can also select deals so you can measure on how your content generates the new deals. So in this case, we'll keep it simple by selecting contacts. And I'll go to the next step. And here on the left hand side, you can select all the, the touch points. In the middle, it's the journey. So the journey, you have to go step by step, or in this case, stage by stage. And then also on the right hand side, again, you can visualize this report as you build it. So in this case, let Let's start with a simple case. I want to see how many leads um, are viewing my pages on the website and how many of those then fill in a form. And that will then be my first customer journey analytics report. So the first stage, it will be the lead stage then i will select the page pages visited as the second stage and the third stage is for form submissions so these are the three steps then i also need to include the time range and in this case i want it to be longer than uh three months so in this case I will select let's say let's say this year and if I select run report it shows me then the report of how many leads I have how many of those have visited the page and how many of those have then submitted a form I can also select here the drop-off and then it shows you how many of those actually dropped off. So you can see 3000 of these leads have not visited a page and around 61 of those have not submitted a form. At the bottom, you can see the total conversion rate. And if you go a bit more to the bottom, you can see the conversion to the next step. So as you can see from those that visit a, visit a page on the website over 58 over 50 percent so around 58 percent does submit a form 